All right, let's get started. Uh, today we're going to be making a heart and we're going to be working with textures. Uh, we're going to put a little pocket down here, a uh, handle for later on, so we'll need two holes up here, and then you're going to get a chance to put in some words or other designs uh, towards the top. Everybody's going to start off with a chunk of clay about this size. And the first thing you're going to do is try to get it into a ball, and then we're going to be getting it flat. Okay, so we want to have it uh, fairly flat, and it's about the thickness of our finger. So when we put our finger next to it, it'll be that height. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to start flattening it out. Might get a little loud at this time when everybody's doing it. And I'm just going to get it flattened out, kind of like a pancake. You're going to have a template here, so we've got to check to see if it fits on there. I'm not even close yet, so I'm going to keep going. Flip it. And sometimes I just keep doing this a little bit until it kind of stretches it out. Getting pretty close, just a little bit more. All right. I think I've got it. If I check the sides here, all right, that one looks good. Now, after this part, we're going to try to put some texture into it before we cut it out. Okay. So what we're going to do is we have uh, different things that you could roll into it. And you could experiment with different types before you decide on your final one. For example, you could take this and just press it down into it. That'll get you a nice texture there. You know, you could do multiple textures. Okay. If you don't like it, you could just turn it over, flatten it out that way. And it should get rid of most of it if you keep doing that. Or you could even start over by putting it into a ball and going from there. Also, I'm going to have out some of these texture plates that we use for crayon rubbings, and you could put those underneath as well. Put on the other side so you can kind of see what it looks like. So you just kind of press it into it, hit on the back side a little bit more, and I kind of like that. That's an interesting texture there. So I think I'm going to go with this one here. Next, you're going to take a heart, the cardboard heart. And you're going to use this as a template for cutting. Okay, So we have some water, and you're going to need to find one of these wooden uh, tools for cutting. Find one that is sharper on the end, and you just stick it in the water. You're going to get it a little bit smooth. Okay? And that's going to make the cutting process a little bit easier as you go around. So I'm going to go around it. Sometimes, if you have a trouble with this, you can always cut off a little bit while working. Start putting those scraps off to the side. And there we go. Okay. Go like that, and then when I lift it up, I should have my texture heart. Okay. From there, um, you could take one of these scraps, and we're going to make a little pocket for it. Okay. So the pocket's going to be down here. This is going to be for holding uh, the flowers for later on. So the shape that you want is, an, is a U shape. And I think I have enough, but I think I might want to make it over again. So I think I want it a little bit bigger. Um, but if you have enough space, you could, you know, on those traps, you can use those. Otherwise, just go ahead and flatten it out again. This might give you an opportunity to, uh, to try a different texture. Like, let's see, maybe I try uh, this one on here. Okay. I think I'm going to go with this one. And the shape that you want is, so you want to start off with a flat piece here. But it's a U, so I flatten the top, and it's a U shape. Okay, so I'm just going to draw that here. Okay, 
I'm gonna check the size though. I think I went a little too big there. Yes, way too big. So I'm gonna shrink it by cutting it a little bit more. Always go a little bit bigger because you can always cut off more of it. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good, but I think I want to take off a little bit more on the top. Oop, let's get some water on there for cutting. And there we go. I would say about right in there is a good size, okay? And for here, to make the pocket, I'm going to put my finger underneath here. Very carefully. We don't want to ruin all these textures we've made. And then I'm going to smooth out just a little bit around the edges. I press and I smooth it down. I want to make sure that our pocket doesn't close up. So sometimes I hold it there, or you could take a tool like this, keep it in there. That could help hold it open while you're working. And that goes there. That'll keep everything intact, ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there for a little bit. Take that out. Okay. Um, holes on the top. You could do holes with a tool. I'll be checking at the end to make sure everybody has these on here. Just kind of press pretty hard. And then the final steps are just kind of, uh, you know, creating those words or designs on the top. Okay. Uh, to do that, uh, we're going to make some coils. So if we want to say mom on the top, M-O-M, -M, we're going to make some coils. So what we do is we take some clay in our hand, kind of like a little ball. And what we do is we start winding it and going back and forth to make a log, okay? Now this one's way too thick, it's gonna be hard to make an M, so I have to get it quite a bit uh, skinnier in size. So I'm actually gonna take it here and I'm gonna start rolling it a little bit more. This is called a coil. And I think I'm getting it to about the right size that I want. The skinnier it is, the easier it is to uh, to turn into letters. So I think I'm going to go right there, and this might be good enough for all three of them if I make it long enough. Okay. So I take this. So you could put your mom's initials on there, but M O M looks great. So I'm going to try to form it by going like this, this, and this, and I'm going to cut it right there and pull that off. Okay. Now you can't just leave it on there, it will not stick. So we'd have to do uh, a little method uh, where we at scratch and attach, slipping and scoring. So to do that, we take a tool that has these little teeth on it right here, dip it in the water, okay? And we're gonna scratch the back of it, get a little bit wet, and then a little bit right here where it's gonna go. Open that clay up, a little water there, and then we're gonna press it into it. Okay, press it into it carefully, and it should stay. Okay, you can flatten those letters a little bit if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, M O M. You could put mom on there. You could even draw into it. Like let's say you wanted to do, you know, flowers on there. You could kind of go like that. I don't really like the look of that. You could even make some too. There's, you know, you could make it flat. This is kind of cool maybe a little bit smaller there. So instead of mom, it might be another cool idea to do some flowers. I put this over here, so you just flatten it like that, and then you can make petals coming off of it. Okay, kind of like that. That's gonna be kind of big, um, but maybe I make it a little bit smaller. Flatten it like that, and then I could do a bunch of these coming around it, okay? All right, guys, can't wait to see what you guys come up with, and good luck with your clay hearts.